The Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. This Gospel reading is about Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector at Jericho. The story is mentioned only in the Gospel of Luke. Since the lucrative production and export of balsam was centered in Jericho, Zacchaeus' position would have carried both importance and wealth, which the Gospel confirms. Now, such tax collectors in Judea during the time of the New Testament were Jews engaged in collections of indirect taxes, such as tolls and customs. They paid a fixed sum for the right to collect custom duties within their districts, since whatever they collected above this amount would become personal profit, and the abuse of extortion was widespread among them. Hence, Jewish customs officials were regarded as sinners, outcasts of society, and considered corrupted souls. Tax collectors were to be shunned. The story begins with Jesus coming into Jericho, the city that the Old Testament says that Joshua and the Israelites marched around seven times, and then the walls came tumbling down. With Jericho's destruction, Joshua curses the rebuilding of the town. The Gospel says that Jesus' original intent was to pass through the town, but that all changed the free will actions of Zacchaeus, who wished to see Jesus. Though he was a man of wealth, and likely a man of pride, yet he was short in height. Even so, he put aside his pride and climbed a sycamore tree to see and be seen by Jesus. This act of faith and action caught our Lord's eye, so much so that Jesus altered his plans to pass through the town and told Zacchaeus that he must come. He must come down quickly from the tree, for tonight he planned to stay at his house. The crowd grumbled at the decision by Jesus to stay at the house of a sinner. The story does not mention that Jesus had talked to Zacchaeus about but while staying at his house, the change of character of this tax collector definitely rivals that of the gospel of the rich young ruler who asked, what must I do to inherit, inherit eternal life? But unfortunately he was self-righteous and would not give up his possessions. On the other hand, here's Zacchaeus who says, behold, half my possessions, Lord, I give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. The story of Zacchaeus is used by some to illustrate the saying of Jesus, Blessed are the poor in heart, for they shall see God. The name Zacchaeus actually means pure. His action showed that he was beginning to acquire the four cardinal virtues of temperance, fortitude, justice, and prudence through the act of putting these virtues into action. And he would be doing so later in the corporal acts of mercy by giving away half his wealth to the poor. Once a person develops a virtuous life, they take on a joyful attitude, since by gradual destruction of vices, it opens one soul to the receiving of God's graces. Without God's graces, none of us could achieve salvation. But Jesus concludes the Gospel saying, Today, salvation has come to this house.